Hey, what's up? Back again. Um, starting another vlog today. Ah, oh, I think it's May 30th. I'm supposed to do a call with someone in just a few minutes and see if she's gonna accept me for a singer place. Um, hopefully this will go okay. Uh, issues with food yesterday. I had some, a little bit of sushi, a little bit of chicken. And uh, apparently that was food poison, so that's very delightful. Woke up, uh, I had weird ass dreams, uh, hallucinating some when you wake up, seeing things are not there. And uh, just, my throat's hurting uh, a lot, and through here I come sick, kind of. And it took maybe 10 minutes to go from the restaurant to being picked up, so yeah, I wasn't prepared fresh. That explains a lot. Anytime you see a short delivery time, yeah. Can't believe this issue's like that here as well. Like, people are really stupid, right? <laughs> That's crazy. My hair is messed up for a reason as well. Like, every time I get food poisoning, feel weird. My hair is like really, really crazy. This sucks ass, dude. Like, damn it. This sucks ass. Like, truly. Anyways, that's the update for now. Um. Gonna see how this goes. Still trying. Got denied after doing a call with a woman, older woman, yesterday. Uh, didn't say much to me. Um, asked if I was gonna be with uh, the person here. And uh, it looks like that probably turned her off because other than that, um, didn't look like there was a problem at all. And didn't say anything to me. Just a bit after our call. Uh, just denied me. So yeah, waste my time calling and asking questions. And uh, then just denies me. So I was wonderful. I thought she was an asshole in general, asking for more work, asking for us to take care of her Airbnb crap as well while we were there, mowing her lawn, cutting stuff, etc. Like, piss off, mate. And bro, you're supposed to do your pets. Old church. Yeah, her house was uh, converted from an old church into like what she's living in now, so uh, it's not ideal for me either. Just an asshole in general, not an ideal woman for me. I think that's probably about it for now. I'll let you know call goes in a minute here after I'm done. Hopefully it goes okay. And uh, I don't know. I'm running out of options. So I'm here. I have to get a car or something. So uh, this, this sucks ass honestly. Like a lot. This area looks like it's way more expensive because the Beatles were from here as well in Liverpool and stuff. So um, that's kind of stupid with all that as well. So hopefully I can just get out of here. I heard that Birmingham is cheaper. So uh, let's try that I guess. Uh, people's English are way freaked up there too. So... Uh, anyways, I'll see you in a bit. Uh, the call went, uh, I'm back now actually, but the call was, um, never happened for a while actually, so let me explain. Took an hour and a half for her to actually get into the call later, and she said, waited for half an hour, she said, oh, sorry, delayed him in a meeting or something, I'm like, okay. So, finally we had the call, apparently she, uh, had a dog freak out on the call, and, uh, it hates men. She's got a sexist dog, apparently, because, uh, it's got PTSD or something. And uh, it's um, didn't have a good time when I was younger. Maybe some guy's trying to capture it to go do something, uh, like uh, kill it or put in a pound or something. I don't know. So it hates men now. It's scared of people like me, I guess. So um, gotta be careful if I go do this. Um, yeah, you know, I'm I'm looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, she was asking why I do kind of people really care about what you do for work. I noticed it's crazy. More than a first world country by far. And. Um, I went out to go get some stuff, got a little bit of sushi from the store, and I'm going to see if that's food poison or not. I've been feeling really kind of messed up and horrible my throat. I went and talked to people what happened on Deliveroo, the application here, for food, and uh, much more responsible and uh, concerned about what happened than people in third world countries, so that was interesting. And they got a refund, uh, and they respected me not wanting to go talk to the store directly because I told them if the store is not interested in like doing things properly to begin with, they're probably not going to overall long term. It looks like they completely accepted my answer for that, so I expect that to be done in the first world country, more especially English speaking country. We were on our way back, uh, got some, I tried going to try Krispy Kreme donuts here, uh, got cheaper boxes, and they tried to charge me like 10 pounds for four of them. That's crazy, I got, I got a bigger box of them. Uh, way cheaper than that, so uh, like, uh, I think it was uh, nine donuts there for, I don't know, was it nine? How many donuts is in there? Yeah, much better deal, nine for like 15 pounds, still bloody expensive, gonna try it one time, uh, expensive in the US, I only tried it one time in the US as well, so, gonna, uh, I shouldn't be buying stuff like this, but I wanted to try them, so, it says they're gonna expire tomorrow, if we're not too old, don't ever see a date where they put on there where they're manufactured, so, anyways, I was on my way walking back with my water, my Krispy Kremes, and my uh, sushi, which I need to eat now because it's going to expire. It's uh, spoiling outside. It needs to be kept cold. I was about at the hotel here, 
And uh, the bus was just like parked there and people on. I go, we walk through and he starts trying to like rush. Looks like he's rushing once we walk through intentionally right that second. And he sees us walking through and he tries to almost run us over and honks at us as we're walking through. I'm just like, stop, my shoe comes off even, so I step back. He almost hits us turning with the bus. I'm like, what? It never would have happened in Poland. I'm not, I'm shocked actually. People in Poland are way better for driving. A huge amount of issues there, but it looks like people driving respect you are way better there. And I heard about Pol Portugal as well for that. So, <sighs> Poland uh, got a positive thing of uh, it being respectful in transit. Yeah, yeah, but uh, unfortunately, eating stuff and becoming numb in my body is uh, impossible to deal with. So, yeah, people are kind of assholes here. Very immoral, very sexual, very uh, corrupt in a lot of ways. Anyways, I'm going to try to give us food poisoning. I've had a fever all over me still, and I'm hot now. I need to go relax, so... Hopefully this doesn't food poison me again. I'm be really upset. I would just like to emphasize their culture of uh, just, like, looking at your message and uh, not replying back. Yeah, yeah, lots of times. So far, at least, on the website we're using, so... People like to look and not reply back. Could just be a website more, I don't know. I need to see more. Ah, I'm really messed up right now with uh, food poisoning. It really mimics a common cold, but it's still a bit different. But if you didn't know the difference, you wouldn't know. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm not doing good. You get some water and relax, and uh, I'll update you if anything else happens here. So, I'll see you then. Okay, I'm back here, and I need to clarify everything that just happened. It's been two days. It was Tuesday last time I spoke, and now it's Thursday. Um, I think it was yesterday. Um, she ended up uh, rejecting me. It was Jessica, so uh, that's completely uh, fun. After being over an hour and a half late for the call, asked me questions, seemed like everything was going okay, just randomly, boom, rejects, and it causes more hell. We already thought it would be an issue uh, <clears throat> with the way she would be acting, because we normally have more issues with this type of thing, being late and like canceling, not speaking properly. Uh, more so with uh, girls, based on our experience. Guys can have some issues, definitely, with that, but not quite like, oh, like being late an hour and a half. Never had that happen before, and... Uh, Saw some girls in the elevator here as well saying they're going to be late and uh, I think it's just like a stereotype. Everyone knows uh, girls tend to be late more than guys. So yeah, that was absolute hell and uh, she was uh, being a piece of trash and uh, rude as hell because of it and not uh, respecting anything and uh, <laughs> didn't care. So that's basically how that went. Um, wasting your time, uh, asking questions, wasting more time in a call. And uh, I'm I'm sorry. It's so disrespectful in my opinion. The way uh, it makes you feel. Yeah, I got really crap to be doing. This while is starting to get really sick of the from food poisoning, which I'm gonna get into now. The next day and that following day. The the morning I woke up numb after an hour and a half. Just numb. Had to go try to brush my teeth and get more water. And it was so bad. I can't explain to you how bad I, how sick I was. Is from food poisoning from that damn chicken. Uh, I think it's Koruk or something like that. You see the name of the restaurant, but it was on Deliveroo here. <clears throat> Rated 4.6 stars, 5 hygiene rating out of 5. Like, uh, what is going on? It's so bad, so much congestion. I've been trying to take amoxicillin. I have a last bottle of I'm not sure if it's exactly going to help. It depends on the specific type of infection I got. If, uh, if it's a bacterial infection, it may be able to help here, so... I can't tell you how much suffering I've been through over the last 48 hours, roughly. It's been hell. It's been so bad. And uh, my voice has been getting really freaked up since what happened. These people here are crazy. Like, dude, I've had so many asthma issues, breathing issues, and so many. It's just horrible food poison. I've never been food poisoned this bad in my life. Uh, I wake up numb, almost passing out. I don't know if it's almost killing me. It's so bad. Worse than I ever had in Brazil, I think. Like, actually, seriously, it's the worst I've had almost in my life. And there's, like, no vomiting or diarrhea from it is the crazy part, right? Because doctors always ask about that. And I had different, similar issues in Poland from different types of food poisoning, more similar to that, but not like this. This is different. This is more like Brazil food poisoning, but on a major higher level. And I guess it's correct. This is English Brazil, as we've been saying. I feel like a piece of trash still in a lot of ways. I'm feeling a bit better today. 
I have a call with uh, my lawyer and judge again here. <laughs> Maybe something will be resolved here. It's so horrible what's going on. Um, my last one gave me like $150 <laughs> after everything I went through. I just need to get a better lawyer in Fedris or do whatever I can. I'm just calling the, the, the part of the lawyer to hmm? lose 20% less. Yeah, it was 20% of the money, so um, on top of that. For any hundred fifty dollars I have, uh, it's just absurd. It's just miserable how, how bad people are in general, and uh, they don't look out for you, and they end up trying to kill you instead. Basically, uh, I don't know what to say. Really, it's so miserable. It's so horrible. Like, I I just don't really have words for it. I'm gonna go try to take a shower here because I'm feeling like maybe uh, good enough to be on my feet for a bit. I just been trying to sit in my bed for the last two days. It's feeling so horrible, um, <clears throat> so, so much congestion, so yo, I took a couple of pictures, but, uh, it's really gross, I'm not gonna show it, so, I'm sure most people don't wanna see that, so, um, I'll probably exclude that, anyways, uh, I just, these people are like assholes here, dude, like, so many assholes here, I'm in shock, and, uh, like, the first day I even came here, just uh, that store that charged me ten dollars or almost ten pounds for three bottles of water, like uh, seven hundred fifty milliliters each. Like smaller bottles, not that much at all. Doing that just because of oh, you know people who don't need water after their flight, they're extremely dehydrated and thirsty, and uh, it can harm their health. So what they do, they want to charge a bunch of money. <laughs> obviously, I just hear the girl in there at the desk be like, uh, just being like, oh, I got three hours to kill, like talking to someone. Like, literally, it's just first world people who act this way, right? It's really like this, especially the girls they saw act like that here in first world countries. I can remember in America as well, people really have issues with that. And, you know, Poland's more of a second world country because uh, I had a girl coming up being kind of spoiled like that as well, hitting me and, and uh, hitting that person's bag and uh, freaking out or something, so... Yeah, so far, um, I just keep having issues with girls more than guys, and, like, physically being hit, and just, like, seeing complete incompetence, so, uh, I know people are gonna try to call me sexist, but, it's, uh, I'm literally just having issues with these people more, like, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know what to tell you, like, it's just what's happening to me, I'm gonna say what's happening, I have had some issues with guys definitely being assholes here, but it's, like, a different way with girls, so, more like, uh, it's just this way they act, like incompetence more, and uh, just, I don't know, it's their, their like, conduct, I guess, that's what I'm looking for, definitely more um, annoying in some ways. I did have some more issues with uh, darker skinned people as well here, like black people, because they, it was the only people I had more, like, trying to do sexual stuff to my girlfriend, and, uh, also, walking down the hall, making fun of us wearing masks. Um, just them. I only had issues with that so far. And I have a compromised immune system, I'm quite sure, having issues with my health all the time. So, <laughs> yeah, thanks for making fun of me with that. It's uh, miserable when you, you're, like, worried about even speaking about things. Because all oh, the gender, the race, because people try to freak out on you. And you're going through hell from just these people more. Like, what the hell? It's, I'm sorry. Do whatever you freaking hell you want. I'm going to speak about what's actually happening here. It's uh, all the issues that have been happening and who's been causing them more. Uh, is, is everything I'm saying seem correct? Yes, yeah, super correct. Uh, especially, uh, I'm going through this, uh, like, as you can hear. And, yeah, I'm having actually a huge problem here because of that. Yeah. Okay, anyways, um, I'm really not well, so I shouldn't be vlogging yet. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go. Just had to get up and spit up more congestion again. It's horrible. It's really, really not good. Um, that's it. I need to get ready for my call in a couple hours. I need to shower and everything and go wash my clothes in the shower because there's no way to even wash clothes, no wash or anything. So the refrigerator provided to you here. I had to toss out food multiple times, a good amount of food. Oh, this has been hell, actually, like, truly. Ah, uh, this has been...
a nightmare. Uh, this is the worst time I've ever had in a country, and it's the country's fault. Like, food poisoning you right off like that, that's not a coincidence. That shows the country's got massive issues with incompetence. It's all the way, the way all the people here, very, very incompetent. Oh, frick. Uh, is there any issues white people have been causing us in general? Yeah, girls and like... Being an asshole. White people? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. So, uh, there's one thing uh, I forgot to mention that white people uh, uh, were causing issues with, and that was more so uh, standard expected out of them from what I know, because they're pretty big assholes in general with this. Can I, ca I think I talked about this already, I don't remember. I was crossing the street, right? And a guy almost hit us with a bus. I just expect, yeah, I think I talked about that already. I can't recall. Yeah, I think that's a, I'm pretty sure it's a white guy. So it's more like what white people, like each, each uh, sector of people are going to be assholes essentially and cause you issues. So guys, girls, and the darker skinned people are all going to have their different ways, specific ways to be assholes basically. So, uh, this is not fun at all. Anyways, I'm going to stop, uh, speaking and, uh, Probably let you know how the call goes everything. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to move tomorrow and get out of here. We're paying our $100 at least, probably. Maybe I found a motel. It's cheaper. Um, <laughs> I don't know how clean that's going to be. So I'm supposed to try to move to the call. I would like to get all my videos moved over off this phone today on the computer and uh, I'll pack everything. Ugh. What a nightmare, truly. Without a car, what a nightmare indeed. Okay, uh, I'll see you in a bit. It should be fun, but better after my shower, hopefully, and uh, some more time today. So, I get rehydrated and all that. Okay, I'm back. I've taken a shower. I wash my clothes in the shower. <clears throat> They've been wet on me and uh, trying to dry. Uh, just trying to recover softer yesterday, being even worse by far than today. And, I took a pain reliever shaking because my clothes are wet. This is horrible. I, I literally, this is so horrible how things are here because we waited so long to contact the Airbnb. Finally, we got a, uh, an agent, an ambassador, right? We talked to a person, they finally transferred us to an agent. And they're just like basically saying, oh, okay, they're not able to help us. They're like an hour of time spent here. And it's blocking because we're under 21, they're saying. Uh, like that's the time that uh, of the age that people are uh, not going to restrict as much and like I'm older than that so I shouldn't be having the same issue but I am and it looks like it's just this location here in general is causing issues with this they're saying so oh you may want to try like a hotel or a private room like you joking with how people are private room like that's horrible that's a horrible nightmare just like being around people and you don't even know if they're gonna do something getting your food eating or do something i, I was with uh will another american and he was complaining about things like that before whenever he's in hostel like no piss off with that i'm not gonna be doing crap where people are gonna cause me more issues on top of everything or i'd be in a small room and be dusty have issues and i'll be able to breathe maybe Ah, oh, everything you do being heard, it's a horrible evasion of privacy. It's not cool at all. So, um, it's just happening with places that are basically um, only fifty dollars a day instead of like a hundred dollars a day. It looks like, and uh, supposed to be leaving tomorrow on top of this. And this hotel is horrible because it doesn't even give you thirty minutes. Basically, they may charge you an ass of money on top of it. This is absurd, and I'm shaking so much. Can't hold the camera. My health is not good at all right now. I got a call coming up in about 10 minutes, and uh, these lawsuits are horrible. It's truly. Like, I'm the one paying for this more by actually having to attend constantly while the person I'm suing still not attending, and the judge refuses to do something because, like, they're looking out for each other in the south there. The south of Brazil is such a piece of trash. I cannot say that enough. I know I made videos on this already, but... Oh, really not cool. I'm not happy with that at all. Anyways, um... We're trying our asses off to stay alive and not be on the streets. Truly. We are trying our asses off. Uh, I've never seen people try so hard, in fact, to constantly do something in their life and, and have something. So, <clears throat> uh, that is all I have to say for now. If there's something else I wanted to say, I don't know. I'm going to record the call like the last time in uh, Bento Gonzalez. Uh, if you were watching that video, it's been some time already. Um, wow. So expensive here for this kind of treatment. And the worst food poisoning ever. Sheesh. And the way they're charging here, how much money they're charging per day. I mean, it should be like $50 a day maximum, if not even less. And they're still 
like threatening about like, oh you're here in about any minutes after your checkout and you're gonna be paying a fee. Like I've not had this happen at a bunch of our hotels in South America. It depends on which one you're at. Uh, if a hotel is doing that, it's a piece of trash hotel. Don't spend your money there. Anyways, I'm about to get ready for my call. Um, I just can't believe life is this bad and people are this bad. Um, <laughs> again, I'm not knowing where I'm going to be tomorrow, and that's while being horribly sick now, spending so much money ordering food, just because. There's no way of eating one meal a day, essentially. It's uh, no refrigerator, spending 20 pounds on one meal per day to have something. Barely eating. This is uh, like no, no way to wash clothes or do anything. This is, like We're living homeless, like homeless people, spending so much money per day. This is a nightmare. I I'll see you on the call. Hey, I'll see you on the call. Boa tarde. Então, vou preparar aqui a ata e já mando aqui, tá bom? Mas eu tenho que aguardar... Justin. Uh -huh. The manager sent uh, a invite, né? Send the invite to Lucy. And Lucy don't, don't get it. Uh, uh, we have to wait for 15 minutes. And then we formalize uh, a text for the judge explain what, what's happening. And then we... We continue the process, uh, the suit, suit law. And that I think that is, that is all for the time. We have other problem. Uh, if she don't appear, if she don't appear, she don't, don't entrance, uh, we don't have the, the ID for her, the, her ID. I don't, I don't, I, I have no idea about this. Uh, and if the judge sent a, get a sentence, I don't know how we can follow her because we don't have the, her ID, only the, the telephone number. I really don't know if the, this number is registered in her name or in other people. The company she worked for should have her data and a way to contact her. I don't, I don't hurt you. The company, Anfitrial Prime, that company should have her data or have a way to contact her. Can you write? I don't. Oh. I don't listen you. Yes, I think so. The Amphitheon Prime have, uh, should have. It. I don't know if that company will offer this information because yes, it's possible. It's possible. Judge uh, not send a notif a notify and force the company to provide this. Olá, doutor. Olá, senhor Justin. Olá. Então, é, ela não aceitou o convite. Boa tarde a todos. Obrigada. Tchau, tchau. Obrigado. Tchau. Bye. So, yeah, that's it, I guess. Okay, so, um, yeah, that's about it. I hung up on me immediately, so it looks like our lawyer is not too happy with this, probably. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. That's absurd. Happy with uh, the swing or else in general? I don't know. I'm really not sure. Soon I will send you news about News about it. Yeah, I know. <sighs> okay. So that's it. Um, I'm going to put that in my vlog probably. Um, just waiting there. I feel like a piece of trash now. Waiting all the time. Obviously she won't come. Ah, wow. Anyways, um... I don't have anything else to say. Now I gotta find a place to not be homeless for tomorrow with there being be literally blocking me for anything that's uh, $50 a day because it's too cheap and it can be for parties, so. Oh, this country and it's causing me a lot of issues, truly. People in general, all around the world, just constant incompetence. It's got everything I hate the most about people, incompetence. Okay, um, I'll see you probably tomorrow maybe i don't know all right updates yeah it's later in the night again still feeling weird don't know why exactly um <clears throat> i know food poisoning but uh still trying to hang on more so uh, i'm gonna get six hours of sleep or less right now waking up tomorrow I'll get out of this hotel i may try to just pay a fee to check out later depending on how many pounds that is uh, so We've just been going like complete crazy as hell mode on messaging people in the format I chose this time. Looks like it's actually working better. 
than using AI. So, uh, it looks like we're getting some people, and people don't want to accept us for two weeks or more, especially a month, because we don't have enough experience on the website. So, we get some more reviews. Should work. It looks like the only people accepting us are for two weeks or less, so that makes sense now. More is going on with that. And some people are just assholes in general on the site, obviously. So, um, going to a person's place tomorrow, and uh, I'm going to take the train to the city nearby where they live, and they're going to pick me up. And uh, yeah, they did. Just had a quick phone call with me, and they didn't uh, actually even video chat, and they were seeming okay. And that's how it should be because you have to go through a bunch of verification to get on this website, and including a background check, which even Airbnb doesn't do. So, um, things fair enough. Uh, I think it's quite safe. They have everyone's documentation, background checks, so, um, you know, probably relatively alright. And the more I look at, like, how Jessica was well, and, um, the, that cocksucker woman that was being a piece of trash over this, like, the more I look back on that, I'm like, yeah, she has some issues, definitely. Like, pretty big issues. So, yeah, I saw she still hasn't accepted someone. Doesn't uh, surprise me. It's uh, people like that. Other people besides her who have issues like that on the site. So just got everything packed mostly here. Getting ready to finish up everything. Maybe try to s s relax, get a little bit of rest here. See what I can do. Um, I don't know if there's something else I was supposed to say. But uh, hopefully everything goes well. And we heading out. <laughs> it's on a random train. The trains look great. It's like about 27 pounds. Maybe it's for two people. I'm I'm hoping... And you can uh, carry three pieces of luggage per person, like big bags. It does not count backpacks or even like a hand baggage more. So, yeah, pretty cool. Most clean thing I saw. So, hopefully all is going to go well with this. And uh, you're going to see me in a new place tomorrow if all goes well. And uh, we'll take you along with me on the ride. I don't know how long the vlog is already or not. So, trying to recover from food poisoning. I was miserable yesterday and horrible. So... I really gotta go easy on myself going out. So, uh, may try to get more sleep. I'm gonna see here. So, um, yeah, that's about it. I think uh, I they never even give an update on the lawyer. I don't remember. Um, yeah, the woman never appeared again as usual. So, um, you know, not much else to say other than awkwardness. Um, yeah, I guess I will see you tomorrow when I'm heading out. Uh, because tonight I'm feeling pretty rough, still pretty freaked up, but it'll be nice not having to pay $100 a day for rent, pretty nice, so I cannot wait for that. It's a shock how much money has been blowing here. Okay, um, until then. Okay, so I'm down here at the base of the hotel, I'm about to get out, I'm getting my Uber, I'm going to go to this train station, so I think everything's going to go alright so far. I uh, just have something to talk about. I saw here in the hotel. I'm gonna do it after because like I need to speak English. My vlog's not Portuguese, so um, yeah, this is gonna be a fun time. Um, no, our Uber is not here yet. <laughs> the, it's not the one. It shows that on live updates. So I'll see you at the train station. Okay, we're on our way right now. Just going out right now. And uh, first time on a train, we're going backwards. I think so. It's gonna be okay. It's really like a bullet train, really fast. It's gonna be in 45 minutes to crew from Liverpool, so that's uh, gonna be very interesting. Yeah, hopefully, I don't get sick or anything.
Okay, it's been some hours. I'm gonna be quiet because it's after 1 a.m. Uh, people are still sleeping upstairs, and uh, I, I don't know if they're sleeping. They're, they're packing, and ready to prepare because they had no idea they're gonna. Like, her husband was gonna be able to go on a trip, and uh, now that I'm here randomly within a one day notice, and uh, like now they can go or she or he can go. So uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, I'm just inside here first night. They're leaving tomorrow at 9 a.m. They. Uh, that's just what we want, I guess. The Chinese place, uh, <laughs> you wrote down so many freaking things. And she got them all. <laughs> so awkward. <laughs> Why? Why did you do that? Uh, I didn't even know what that crap was what you got. I freaking hell, dude. Anyways, um, looks like that went okay. Yeah, a bunch of food on the table. Just basically everything you ordered. I cannot believe that. So I'm here for another week or so, and uh, this place like really way better than not paying rent. Like, look at this. This TV, I don't think it's showing in the vlog. It is so freaking big. Like, you know this? It is so freaking massive. It's insane. This house is pretty big. And uh, we're finally getting this going, so all our hard work is paying off. On top of not paying for rent and the food order for us earlier, to eat together and talking, random strangers just coming in, eating in her home with her now, she's buying us food. And on top of this, they left us a bunch of food and stuff to eat while they're gone. And uh, we take care of their dogs while they're gone. Yeah. And they'll be having some family staying here one or two days, so. So for, clothes, no. so for clothes, everything, yeah, I can do it way better than a damn Airbnb, way better. <laughs> but, wow, and cool pets to take care of. Just gotta be careful about my breathing a little bit. Took some allergy medicine, trying to do well. But, uh, here's the pets. And there's another one back here. Yes, there's one more. It's like upstairs. I'm like upstairs. black and white one. And there's two cats as well. So um, they're coming to get some of the pets. It's supposed to just be three dogs and I think a cat. So they're going to get one of the cats and one of the dogs coming up. So it won't be four dogs and two cats anymore. It'll be three dogs and one cat like the listing. So that's been pretty cool. Um, not paying $100 a day and being fed and helped. What the freaking hell? Look at that. That's great. <laughs> um, Anyways, yeah, this is going great, and uh, we make everyone just like go out their, their minds, just be like, what the frick are you doing, how do I do this, <laughs> I don't even know if I can be heard, because it's so freaking like quiet, um, but, yeah, it's uh, really nice, um, I'm out in a rural area again too, it's really nice being out here, away from the city, more peaceful, yeah, chickens, some chickens back there. Uh, fresh eggs, give me fresh eggs. It's amazing. Go get out and get some fresh eggs. Like a damn dude, this freaking epic. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, really nice. And they got some bicycles for us to ride on top of it. Like, it's so much. Like, honestly, it's disgusting. So, yeah, this is uh, definitely taking a turn for the better. And I can see by my pictures I take every day that my face has looked way better today than other days. And I don't look super sad same way it's like i feel so much better inside I feel like a human I feel like i'm just being treated like a human eating food and having issues not being stuck in a hotel and uh it's Thank horrible truly really. no check and everything yeah okay so uh i guess it's about it for now i'll give you another update in the morning here um it's crazy to actually be here and be being treated like this and having the things and ability to just you know relax and it's crazy it's nice so uh, you should leave a great review on my profile as well um, um, providing I take care of their pets properly and, and their house is clean obviously I do these things out of respect and all that so um, yeah I say that's not a problem at all considering everything else so yeah yeah, I needed a break, like I needed something to help because it's been really rough lately and working on the business and doing all kinds of stuff it's been pure hell uh, it's been really difficult mentally so much almost lost my mind over the last uh, 
months. Well, the last year and a half, maybe, even. Yeah, things are going to change now. I think we're working hard, and things are really improving because of it. So, happy I can help them, and they can help me so much at the same time. So, very mutual benefit here. Anyways, I'll see you in the morning. Probably, maybe fry some eggs or do something. So, uh, yeah, I walk with the dogs on the big field here. So, yeah, a bunch of content to show. Oh, it's morning now. I got four hours of sleep. Uh, she ended up well, knocking on her door, even though she said last night uh, that she would be um, probably not seeing us again after that. But, anyways, probably better have an early morning schedule, anyways, because there's people coming here a couple times or different things. We'll get dog and stuff. So, throughout the weekend, a cleaner coming as well in a few days. So, um, yeah, fun. Anyways, I found a spider back here in a chair. It was here. I'd take some stuff off the room here. So that I can breathe better because I could not breathe just so I can imagine what happened. I checked these rods up here for both these curtains and uh, hey, the one over there too. They are like, fixed in place with a screw in the middle of uh, each side there. Uh, there. There's a three points in for the other one. And I take the screws out basically to just take this off. To be able to take the curtains off it looks like because you literally cannot get this off without uh, doing that. It does not fit over at all so that tells me these have not been washed ever um <laughs> since <clears throat> they were put on as you can see i cannot breathe properly at all and uh yeah it's gonna be difficult like i'm gonna show you more they did not mention the clutter by the way we were kind of like when we walked in uh yesterday we just got our mouths not saying much uh, i guess like you know this place way better in a lot of ways still um as long as i can manage my breathing and stuff uh, especially for no like rent fee and having food and everything given to you and a whole bunch of alcohol as well apparently we can have what we want so I'd say because of like the clutter and dirty and spider webs everywhere we'd rate this more like three probably maybe four and uh yeah something like that honestly because uh I asked them before as well like they left and said I was having some issues with there's like a different room I kind of maybe have and they're saying basically like uh, uh no basically so yeah, um, that's the way things are. Just, uh, no idea. Anyways, I wanted to show you here. Hopefully I can catch this. So I'm going to take that off. I'm going to show you just what I'm talking about. I don't know if the oh, iPhone's going to capture this, but there we go. So, this one at least. Let me see here. Get that focus there. Can you see that? Look what just came out. That's absurd. Like, truly absurd. Um, it's uh, obviously some wood. Actually, as well. More than dust, probably. However, there's a bunch of dust on this. If I can show you properly. Spider webs, all kinds of things. Just everywhere covered horribly in it. It's, uh... Yeah. What the hell? Whoa, that was a huge fly. Anyways, um... I'm gonna show you a bit walking around here. It's kind of the issues I was talking about. So, that's uh, back there in our room. You got this bathroom over here, basically here, which is, uh, eh, it is what it is, kind of. So, oh, it's rough when uh, places are not super clean at all. And I'm super clean, just like moderate clean. Never been. Another room back here and stuff, so not too much in there, just more clutter and dust stuff. Bruh. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, where's the closet? Where are the cats at? Back here? Yeah, mm. uh, where's the light? It's inside there. Huh. And back here is that closet where the cat's sleeping. Let me see if I can point properly. Where's my hand? Ah, right back. Yeah. As you can see back there, the cat is sleeping. So, I'm gonna let him rest. Her, him. I think it's him. And so, here's like their main bedroom that I was talking about. Definitely a uh, fair amount. Anyway, it's definitely a fair amount bigger and such. It's a room just in case somebody's clothes and stuff. Plants and stuff. Gotta take care of the water here. You look outside, down that way, so, 
Um, definitely some issues I'd say with the roof and everything here. Let me see if I can show you how that looks. So yeah, there's a roof, bunch of stuff growing on it. Down over this other way as well with that one. All kinds of things. So um, the roof is going to be clean as well. So have this, but it's just what I'm talking about. Like massive clutter everywhere. And uh, that could be a fair amount better because when you have all these things around, it's going to cause you breathing issues. I don't know why exactly, but they just collect a lot of dust in general. And uh, the circulation is not good as well. And uh, in small rooms especially as well on top of it will cause you a bunch of breathing issues. So, oh, I think it's about it. We're going to... Go downstairs now. There was an attic area up here. Don't know if I can show you sometime. I haven't gone up there, so. There's like a gate here I gotta open. <sighs> There's this little piece here. Click into place. Here's the main front area here, essentially. Front door. Come out this way. So, yeah. On the front, here's the whole front area in general, and uh, let's see here. Uh, just kind of like out here, very much so out in the middle of nowhere. So, you can take them, the dogs down that way to go walk and go do stuff all the way down there, their fields. So Ah, oh, very quite nice day out. Yeah, a bunch of vines growing on the house too, so. Okay. There's a bit of a garden way out that way here. So, yeah, this is the front. And you basically just will come up to the door like that. That's how it will look. And you come in. Definitely smells like less fresh in here. So. So it really sucks that it's like that, not super clean and all that, but we're properly clean. More plants will have to water there while they're out in the way, so. Oh, let's uh, go over here real quick. There's uh, this room as well. It's quite... Pretty rough with that. Um, this is more so just like a house tour, anyways, more or less. So, um, so there's uh, like a circle here that goes in through this way, and this way it connects all the way through. So the dogs over there in the living room, and this place like not the worst. Like they do give you stuff, and it's uh, you know, not not the worst in, in a bunch of ways, but for like clutter and all that, definitely not ideal. So. Breathing issues on top of that won't help. So, anyways, here is this room over here. Ah, oh, freak. And hello. There's the two dogs down there. Hello. Ah, oh, have four right now. Gonna have one be leaving soon. So, here's the place we can have some of these things if we want. So, I'm not gonna drink, bro, anything. I don't drink alcohol much, so. But uh, so we can have some different things, so it's a lot of different ones. Go them out. I can't imagine um, yeah, most people would be drinking too much of that unless you're an alcoholic, uh, you're an addict. Here's a bike. It's like an electric hybrid one. So can they didn't use that really before, I guess they said. So try try to use a bike to go somewhere. Shoot rack and all that. Dogs love that stuff. And uh, washer. And dryer, they told me, please, uh, like, basically, she was like, I hope you don't have to use the dryer at all. So, because uh, I guess electricity is pretty expensive here, but uh, it can't be that expensive. It's not going to use a dryer much at all. Like, even if it's like 20, 30 pounds, like, I, they probably hang stuff somewhere outside instead of the dry. Looks, yeah, I think it's out here. Actually, if you can see uh, that focus a little bit, it's uh, 
right out there is a clothesline. If you can see that, that's exactly what happened. That's probably what happened with the uh, wire. I couldn't breathe in the bedding. It's so dirty because I saw that guy hitting it to like, to, like shake something a little bit with uh, the freshly clean bedding. They said it, a bunch of dust came out. That's what happens when you hang it outside. So yeah, I'm going to have to wash that and probably dry it. Uh, why even have a dryer then if you're not going to use it? It's crazy. Anyways, so, um, yeah, there's just a lot of issues with clutter all over here and stuff like that's my biggest complaint with the place, I would say, definitely. Because it's, like, they're, they're nice, um, they're doing everything that they generally are supposed to when you come, like, give you food and uh, offer you some stuff, and, but uh, the room definitely could be better and uh, just cleaner, like, definitely cleaner. Because there's spider webs, like, a lot of spider webs all over in different areas, and that's a shame, honestly, but see here's the kitchen over here which is relatively big and yeah, decent um my complaint though was like there was these flower pots we came in yesterday they were on the table and there's dirt a bunch all over the table and uh who knows what kind of uh, pathogens and bacteria are in that and she just took a cloth and wiped it up with uh, maybe a bit of water and it's a reusable cloth and uh, no soap nothing just uh that and just uh, after touching that, or after touching dog food and everything, uh, wet packets of dog food, she just rinse her hands for a few seconds and uh, dry on a towel. I can't imagine how much bacteria that is. And uh, they, I, I saw she uh, only uh, she doesn't focus on her husband much, like with sleep or health in general. Like got four hours of sleep, and he's just like, oh yeah, basically. Like people who act like that's normal are gonna die way younger and have more health issues, which I think I saw happening with them. So that's, you know, it breaks my heart to see that happening. People not able to follow health and much. He was a nurse, I think he said, for 35 years, and he was shocked about the stuff I was saying about food poisoning as well. So apparently I'm quite well researched in that. Probably also newer data coming out is helping us a lot in the last 20 years too. It's a lot, last 10, 20 years, because people want to get taught while they go to school. They don't get taught to become a nurse and doctor the same way. So. Uh, maybe older doctors can get out of date and in some ways because of that definitely as things progress I mean unless you go back to college again who's going to do that so you definitely have like a way to update people though in their curriculum in their universities anyways oh here's outside in this patio area it's going to be quite a long vlog more plants over here to go take care of yeah, it's way easier to breathe out here. It's not in my head. Um, like, hopefully I don't look ungrateful or anything, but I'm sure if you were in my position, you'd understand. Like, I was having so many asthma attacks, so much issue, uh, so many issues. I'm sorry, I can't. If you can't sleep and you always, <sighs> you can't breathe. That's a huge issue. So, I'm sorry, just. You know, anyone with my issues is going to feel similarly, most likely, I would imagine. Um, I have like a different cherry tree somewhere over here. Some different things. and That's yeah, nice. There's like a shed down here I haven't looked at, actually. There's a cool little fountain there they got. Oh, it's, yeah, can't see much out here, sorry. <sighs> yeah, um, I was thinking about probably getting a car. And maybe even driving off somewhere to go camping sometimes during the summer. While I don't have a place in passing. I gotta keep my mouth closed. Bugs. Did I say we can go out this way? Oh, freak. Oh, hell no. There's... Oh, it's just... Oh, it's just a spider. It's, uh... I'm not sure if they're alive. Maybe hard to get in here. I don't know if I can... Eat. The last time it was, they came back here. Lots of blackberries. But uh, they said there's a shed in here we can go into. A, uh, I'm I'm gonna do this for you guys, cause I'll freak, I'll freak, I'll freak. Oh, oh. Okay. So I can come in here basically if I want. What's in here? I got he's uh. Yeah, I would not want to sleep in here basically. Don't know who would. Oh freak! It's so dusty. Yeah. Something here. Go all watch it. Another one of them. Yeah. It's uh <laughs> oh pretty damn dusty. This is well uh, don't wanna know how much uh dust is on that. 
Oh boy, okay, um... Yeah, bruh... What the... Huh? <laughs> what the frick is... Wait, I need to show this. What is this? What? What am I looking at? <laughs> what? And you have... The... I don't even know if I can show that on YouTube. I actually don't know. So they all have a lot of this stuff basically here. And that one as well. Wow. That's crazy actually. That one is really creepy with the asshole, dude. Really Okay, um. There's more spider webs here. It doesn't surprise me we're outside, so. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, please don't have any spiders on me. I don't want spider. I have a bit of arachnophobia, so. You know, this is not the easiest, but pushing myself through it. Ugh. Ah. Oh, God. Oh, please, no. no, no. Just go through, go through. Oh. Oh. Okay, we got through. Oh. Yeah, um. Uh, I really don't know what to say about that picture. <laughs> what is the. Uh, I don't even know if I can show that on YouTube. My video might get, like, yoinked. Yeah, that's the best way to put it. I don't know if that one needs water. Looking a little bit sad there. Looks like sneezing something. Or not, not healthy or something, so. Oh, what is. Who's over here again? Oh, okay, this is the. Uh, no, is this a different area? I'm not sure exactly. It just stops back off over here. <laughs> Small trampoline for the dogs, probably. It's sunbathing. I'll leave you to it, buddy. So, yeah, I just, uh, you do you. <laughs> okay, well, where else is there to go? Oh, they have, like, um, open fireplace here, looks like, to go do stuff when it's colder, so. I don't know what they have in here, what they're doing, exactly, but. Looks like they're doing something with the sunlight and plants there. Oh, I can't see. Ah, oh, the damn phone is, is, uh. Changing in within a second, and my eyes take like one minute instead of one second to adjust to the light. So, um, ah, oh, that's actually how where is that at? It's done off another way. I guess there's only one way to go in there, huh? So, yeah, back here is um, utility room or so, as you can see. And uh, just kind of small bathroom, all that. Another shower that's uh, not usable, I guess, it looks like. Yeah, I don't know. They just put stuff inside there, so yeah, no way to really do that. Yeah, I'll let that go for now. Waterless shampoo, vanilla, coconut, bro. Okay, so. I'm on my way out of here. It's currently uh, 20.5 Celsius, 41% humidity, according to that thing up there, looks like. Right up here. So. Okay. What else is there? Ah, let's go to. I can show you the fridge. There's lots of some stuff here to, to have whilst they were away. So it's quite nice. Various things. I make some sandwiches or whatever. A bit of takeout food we had yesterday. So it's quite nice of them. I would say and uh, I'm not sure if there's anything over this way or not I think that's in I didn't see that before actually so some stuff in there as well some different dinners and things you can make while we're here so anyways here is right out of the kitchen we're gonna go in here it's like the main room I would say which is uh, 
Nice. Pretty nice. There's, uh, I guess the other pets here. There's all three of them. Uh, I don't know if you can see much at all. Ah. Yeah, there you go. Hi. This is the older one. Uh, they're gonna have someone come and take, I think, her today. She has issues breathing, unfortunately, and all that, so. Ah, it's rough. I think she's getting older and just having some more issues in general, so. But, uh, yeah, this is, uh, see, it looks way bigger, like, once you're, like, close to it more, like, you get, like, a bit closer. It's, like, insanely big. Yeah, maybe that gives you a better idea, a little bit more. But, uh, we're definitely nice there. Another fireplace over here as well. Uh, it's, it's a real wood burner. Can have some wood put in there, I guess, in the winter when it's cold. So, yeah. That's, uh... Nah, I don't know if I saw one of them before actually, you know, home much, so. I guess this is the area I was seeing before. I didn't see this yesterday. It's quite nice. Got some plants here. Mainly watering as well. They have a lot of plants. Oh, they have an aloe vera plant too. That's pretty cool. I had one at home before I left. And I probably heard it's gotten massive in my family, so. That's uh, going to be lovely to see again whenever I come back, but... Yeah, just uh, all kinds of cups and things here, and uh, Christmas decoration there, looks like. So, oh. I think I had one of these actually, back when I was younger, I'm quite sure. And uh, I don't know what kind of plant that is, but basically my family used to think that was an aloe vera plant somehow. And they would break open like more of the small circular leaves here. And they would take and put that in my kite, I would get. And now looking back and I'm just like, how, how did they do that? Because that can be really dangerous with people. It's rough. You know, I look around and just think about all the stuff people do and, uh, it's massive stupidity, honestly, completely. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm a, if I'm a bit slow at all, it's because uh, I got four hours of sleep only, basically, so... Um, won't be quite normal right now at all. Probably gonna try to keep my schedule this way. Yeah, I guess that's about it, basically, here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to wash up those curtains upstairs. Took some stuff out of the bedroom. I should be able to breathe a bit easier doing that. Put some water under the bed, like in a, a pan, a couple pans. Don't know why, but apparently it helps a lot. So, I'll go ahead and do that. And I should be able to breathe here easier upstairs. Usually it's thicker down here with the air, probably because the base floor, a lot of plants around, pollen, and uh, dog hair and stuff more as well, but uh, it's not as bad now as it was last night, I think for some reason it's weird. I think upstairs is really bad in that bedroom because it's smaller and uh, less ventilation, so take more stuff out, clean a couple of things properly, and uh, maybe use the dryer so they're not hanging up outside and getting dust everywhere from outside, because this sounds horrible in Brazil every time people would do that. And, uh, I shall fix things a lot. This is rough. <laughs> My breathing's a little better now than it was. I guess, um, that's probably about it. This door, like I said right here, just leads back into the first area I was in. So I'm gonna go back through there now. The dogs can also open this door if they want, basically, from that main room there. So that's funny. I oh, had some fresh eggs there. They should definitely be refrigerating these eggs. I don't know why they don't. Anyways, um, new ones I collect, I'll definitely be trying to refrigerate, so. But yeah, again, uh, that's pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> All that. And back here is just, uh, I forgot to show. <sighs> just uh, some different packages of dog food, frozen dog food, and all that in there, various things. Yeah, they they clear some stuff up, but I saw that they had left out some packages, unfortunately, of like um, macaroni salad here and and uh, some soup and stuff here. So that's uh, not good at all. And uh, probably they toss it or something. The problem is the take and leave dog food out. It's a package of food. It'd be like uh, dog and goose or like a different type of mix of like uh, lamb and stuff. And these packages of meat, really fancy stuff for them. And uh, they, they defrost it, they'll leave it out as well, like for over a day. 
basically like she was putting up here. Uh, or they put in the microwave last night to defrost it quickly. And uh, it's crazy because if it's true, more while I'm learning about food poisoning, it should affect animals too maybe depending on what type of animal it is and, and maybe the, the breed potentially as well. But uh, I'm not for sure on this, but I think probably if that's true, then the food poisoning can affect them as well. I mean, food out like that would cause the dog harm and uh, maybe attack their immune system, causing the die earlier. So I need to research this more about animals. I just know more about people, but I think that could definitely be happening. And uh, I'm too sorry for the animals if it's so. We're going to defrost their food and their packages like that in the colder area if possible somewhere. Uh, anyways, most people just don't know about these things. They leave it on food out four or five hours, so. It's just, uh, you need a lot of training for these things, and people are not trained at all. I can't tell you how much time like, it took me to learn all these things. It's not been easy. Not been easy at all. Ah, there's that door again, just from the other side now. Oh, okay, that. There's just like one of them glade things over there. That's a bad noise. Like, what the frick is that? Okay, so yeah, that's about the house tour. It's been a long tour. Um, I can go show up outside more later, but I think that's about it for now. I'm gonna probably. Oh, gonna go probably in the vlog here. And yeah. It's crazy. I'm feeling so kind of messed up right now. No sleep, barely. Not much at all. If you're wondering, the other room that was up here more just like kind of. Not much in general, basic stuff here. You can tell though as well. It's all worse in there. You have different holes and stuff, maybe some shoes. It wasn't the best, but I think they said they had a bunch of this part built on later. After, oh, there we go. You can see lots of holes and stuff. And again, spider webs everywhere here. I don't know if I can focus properly. But yeah, it's uh, a lot everywhere. And uh, just not, not clean in general, so big issues with that. And yeah, do you have anything else you'd like to say about the place? I'll show them about everything, essentially. Yeah, it's just got sad that we can use uh, the car. And yeah, the yeah, they're in their cars. car. And yeah, we'll last use it, so. They have an RV, they have a, a trailer, they have so many different things. Yeah, they're yeah, just giving us a couple basic bikes. It's crazy for people because they're going to be like, Oh, you're ungrateful. If you know the platform and what's common, like... Uh, people can easily leave you their car and uh, do the stuff for you. Like people are becoming worse over time though on the platform, so as expected, obviously, as more people come and flood and you get too many people, it just ruins it for everyone. So these things don't become a secret, uh, or they, then they don't stay a secret. Yeah, it doesn't uh, remain what it used to be. So and uh, the people doesn't help too. They probably flood people's car on top of that. Yeah, people, people probably cause issues with that. Mm-hmm. focus. Yeah, basically. So, yeah, that is roughly it. Um, we'll have the bicycle, roughly, and uh, yeah, hopefully nothing happens at all with the health emergency. Because I don't think we have a key or anything. It should have left us a key or something, told us in case of emergency. Like, it's very important. Very important. Actually, yeah, because we're on our own, kind of something happens. Oh, yeah. uh, did you say? Hmm. That you always have cameras everywhere? Yeah, I saw cameras several places, like downstairs in front of the big TV, you don't advise showing it. Um, but there was a pretty big camera. And kind of a bit. Too. The street, yeah, there's one in here as well. Down over this way, uh, can I show? <laughs> yeah, right there at the corner of the window. It's a camera there, so. I'm gonna probably turn the one down his face downstairs or maybe unplug it or something. I don't know if they're like doing something strange. I'm gonna add this before I do my outro. I don't know where, but somewhere. And I'm gonna show. There's a big camera right there as well. I'm gonna unplug that one. There's a camera over here. I went back here to go ahead and unplug. 
to unplug this one right here. After I did that from unplugging it behind there, a uh, weird red vehicle ended up coming here and just parking in front. It was weird. There's like another person over there as well. It's really strange. I don't know. Anyways, it's kind of disturbing how many cameras are, I think, because that camera had a green light on like it was being used and monitoring, just like watching what we're doing here. It's crazy because everywhere you go, there's a camera, there's a camera set up there. It yeah. Wasn't there she started already trying to fight with her husband the first time we were here yesterday. And what you told me as well is she was already using our piano and stuff to set stuff on top of it. You went down before me. But she uh, told you basically just have me take out the trash. Yeah, Cause like. Yeah, she was laughing like. Nice. And laughing apparently. Okay, I was not there. I was upstairs still. So most people are not genuine at all these days. And the dogs have a lot of PTSD. The dogs have a lot of PTSD like, as well. Yeah, a lot of issues with this stuff. So, okay, um, that that's it. I'm gonna go back to the end of the video now. Uh, I really hope people take these things seriously because there's a lot of bad people in the world, and if uh, I get a lot of people hating on me, no, yeah, I'm driving up right now. If I get a lot of people hating on me, it's because uh, they they be bad people as well. That's strange. I don't know if they're doing something else. It's weird. Just have it right, right out there. This randomly pulled up. It's like uh, right. House to house, by the way. Really? Yeah. Because I saw. Yeah, could you meet someone looking the rub? Definitely. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah. Wait, are you sparking here? No way. Yeah. Maybe someone drive out, I think, maybe. He's driving out. Because he looks like a thief. Yeah, I was gonna say that he looks like a thief. If you don't understand, there's people who uh, look like specific things. Yeah, easily a thief. He's scouting out the area. Is this what thieves are gonna do? <sighs> it's uh, definitely not the safest job doing things. Oh, the dog is anxiety. Yeah. Not even the dog got the ball. So you chew on it for anxiety and such. So animals pick up on lots of things going on. And uh, they notice things more than most people. And also, I noticed my, my baggage. I always set my baggage to specific combinations on different bags. And I saw the numbers were messed up. And different. And I'm almost positive, 100% positive, neither of us ever touched that. Oh, these cameras are like, creep me the hell. Anyways, it's just for next week or so. And uh, we'll be on our next visit. I think there's better places than this. Uh, this is really long, so I'm going to have to finish this here. Uh, I think people understand, but uh, I remember talking about how there's a lot of issues and abuse in Asia and stuff, and people will be fighting with me and several other people in the comment section saying, oh, there's no abuse in Asia, or you're just uh, worse basically in, in the States and other parts of the country. No, no. Or other parts of the world even, but no. There's a lot of abuse in Asia. I saw his children and horrible abuse over there. Worse in South America. Asia is also the most toxic for traveling in airports. Do you think that's a coincidence? I imagine what's like at home if the airports are the worst over there as well. I think uh, it's a great correlation. So same way for people like fighting against people on that. Those people are probably bad people or brainwashed people. So you can have same things on this. Like people fighting against straightforward things like this. Really be careful. Do not let bad people trick you into believing wrong things. These things are not proper. Okay, that's all. I'm going to cut back now. I feel like it's not like private about that so anyways yes this is probably more of like a little bit of a boring vlog kind of i don't know Ugh, my head's messed up and i'm tired as hell this vlog will probably end up being maybe 30 40 minutes or more again so it doesn't surprise me i'm getting a lot of vlogs again i need to go back to editing more and start posting so i've never posted my first one i started back in january <laughs> in june six months ago i need to start posting this stuff now a lot of stuff has happened over that time so, thank you so much for watching, and uh, leave me a comment, always telling me why I'm an asshole this time, and uh, you know, why I'm a dick bag, and um, also uh, why I'm, uh, I'm so attractive as well. No, no, I'm joking. Anyways, um, that's, that's probably about it for now, so I cannot wait to read, <coughs> oh frick, I cannot wait to read the comments on uh, the videos I'm posting, oh boy, um, 
probably should be editing some stuff out. You know, people will get pissed off about the way I speak about things, I'm pretty sure. So, ah, anyways, i be careful. People are, uh, everyone's a Twitter user today, <laughs> basically online. So you got to be really careful about what you say and all that. So, oh, this is going to be a fun time. Uh, anyways, we need to find our listing to go to after this. to have another place to stay, so... I guess that's about it for now. So, yeah. Ah, uh, that's crazy. I'm going to go probably in the next vlog show you out in different areas here. So, thank you all so much for watching. And, uh, anything else you want to finish with that? I just love the food. <laughs> yeah, food's pretty cool. Uh, from the restaurant, it's very, very great. It's like uh, sweet and sour chicken, uh, rice, and... and the, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, different thing. I showed them pretty, pretty nice, so... Yeah, it just the main thing I'd say about this is it needs cleaned and uh, organized more. So, but that's all for now. See you in the next one. And uh, again, make sure you leave a comment. I'm going to read it. Unless there's two million. I, I'm sorry, I can't read all those comments, dude. I'm not an AI. I, uh, I might actually ask the AI to read them all and summarize the percentage of the comments based on what they are. <laughs> Imagine doing that. Maybe be able to. So, yeah. Um, thank you, and I will see you in the next one.